Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to change the color of an image here in Adobe Express. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Adobe Express, I want you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Changing the color of an image here in Adobe Express is a simple process that can be done in few different ways depending on the effect you want to achieve. Now, once you are logged into your account, I want you to click on the project or design that you're working. If you haven't already, just go to the template section wherein you can browse from thousands of inspiring design to begin your work. If you want to start from scratch and upload your own content, just click the button right here. Now, let me tell you that adjusting the image colors here in Adobe Express is quite limited. All right. Now, I'm going to add a new page because it's a lot easier to work in this because my, my first design is a little bit cluttered. All right. We're going to add an image here on the media. Let's go and click the photo. Maybe let's start with this design. Maybe, um, let's go right here all right for you to be able to change the color all i'm gonna do is go to the effects right here these are gonna be some of the basic editing that you can choose all right you can cho uh, choose the grayscale darken tint colorize all right duo tone and of course from here you can just choose the uh, different kind of feel that you wanted for a specific design all right so it's up to you and again, as I've told you earlier, the uh, designs here are quite limited. All right. Click again to none if you don't want. Now, there should be an option that says customize, wherein you can put in the uh, custom swatches and, of course, the hex code if you want and the highlights. So if really good in color matching and balancing, you might want to opt for this. You have the more color section here on the uh, down below. So there's a lot that you can work with. But the thing is, if you want to add colors to your brand to access them quickly in the future, you can click create a brand here, but it requires a premium plan to do it. All right. You can also use for the color picker if you want. So these are some of the options right here. Now, another option that you can do is go to the none again. Click this and go to the adjustments. In the adjustments, you can basically try to manipulate the contrast the brightness the highlights you can you know uh, adjust all of these sliders to your effect all right saturation right here so if you want a saturated effect you can do with that you also have the option for a warmth effect or kind of like a cool effect and turn the saturation down or turn it up you can have the option to uh, sharpen and blur some of the effects, all right? Now, another option that you can do is by blending two images. I'm going to add another picture here for you guys, or let's delete that for now. I'm going to use the same image right here, and I'm going to blend another image using the media right here. Maybe this one right here, okay? So going to the adjustment and going to the blend try to multiply and see you have some kind of like change of the color right so these are some of the ways for you to be able to change the color of an image that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one